Glory to God, glory to God. Welcome on this evening. I am Prophetess Sharika Berry, Senior Pastor of Victory and Praise Ministries, where we are taking the word of God to all the nations. I just want to welcome on this evening to the evening of reading God's word. And today I'm going to be reading from the book of Revelations, and I will be reading from the King James Version Bible. I'm going to be reading Revelations chapter 3. And unto the angel of the church, and Sadius wrote, write, These things saith he that has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know thy works, and thou hast a name, that thou livest and art dead. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before God. Remember therefore how thou hast received from he and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Thou hast a few names, even in Sardis, which have not defiled thy garments, and thy shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in black remnant. And I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit has Spirit say, has, says unto the churches. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, These things says he that is holy, he that is true, he that has the key of David, he that opens of no man shutteth. And shut up that and no man open. I know thy works, behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it, for thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. I just want to welcome you on this evening to Bible reading. I am Prophet Street Berry, and I'm reading from the book of Revelations, chapter three, and I'm on chapter nine. Behold, I will make them all the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and not and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world. So try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which is in New, New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit of Spirit says unto the churches, and unto the angel of the church of the Laodice wrote, These things says the, says the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the of the creation of God. I know thy works, that thou art neither color, cold, nor hot. I would thou, thou went wet, worked, cold, or hot. So then because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Because thou sayest, I am rich, and increased with goods, and have need of nothing, and knoweth not that thou art wretched, and miserable, and poor, and blind, and naked. I counsel thee to buy of me gold, tried, tired in the fire, tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich and white remnant, that thou mayest be clothed 
and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. And anoint thy eyes and enslave that thou mayest see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chastise. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him, and he with me. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in the, the, my throne, even as I also overcome and am set down with my father in his throne. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. And I just got finished reading Revelation, the third chapter. Verses 1 through 22. And I read from the King James Version Bible. And may the blessings of the Lord be with us. And may that we apply God's word to our daily life. Let us close out in prayer. God, I thank you for bringing us here on today. I do not take this day like you, God. As I come before you, humble myself. I come before you with a heart of repentance, God. Bound that it should be, God. God, I thank you for the word that you have put before us all today, God, that speaks life unto us, God. And God, please help us to apply your word to our daily life. And God, I thank you for loving us unconditionally, Lord God. God, I thank you for watching over us and keeping us from hurt, harm, and danger, from the snares and the tears and the wilds of the enemy. And God, I pray for those that are here on today, God. And I touch and agree with those prayers that have been going up on behalf of your sons and your daughters. And God, I thank you right now, God, as I stand in the gap on their behalf. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for being our Jehovah Jabra, our Jehovah Nisi, our Jehovah Shalom, our Jehovah Rapha, our Jehovah Lord God, Adonai, God. And we just thank you, Lord, for all that you have done this year, God. And we thank you in advance, God, for the things yet to come and the things that you're working on on our behalf. In Jesus' name, we say amen.